Welcome back to the Lazy Cat Reactions. Today is going to be the eighth episode of Walker. Uh, if any of you have been watching from the beginning, you know that there was about a three week hiatus with the show uh, due to them having to shut down production because of the winter storm that they had in the beginning of early March. So we got about a three week hiatus and luckily it is back as of April 8th. And so I'm excited. It sounds like we might find out more information on Emily's death, which of course, as we know, um, is the main, re, the most important storyline of this year, I guess you could say. Uh, as this is the eighth episode, there are 10 left for the season. Um, so yeah, you know, we're got plenty more material to go. So I am excited to watch this episode. Let's get started. Brett the truth, Brett then could take whatever steps are necessary to protect him and to protect Liam. And again, I know he did it just to protect Brett, but still, I don't think that was smart because even though they broke up, he could still be a target. You know, this north side group or whatever it is, uh, they could still go after Brett even though they broke up. So he may not have prevented anything. So I really wish he hadn't broken up with Brett. It's nice to see Maureen and um, Braun kind of making up again and getting getting kind of back together since they have been really strained. Um, and to hear the kid, I can't remember his name, um, the way he was talking with Stella, I don't know if he's sincere 
since it was since he was kind of implying that he's in love with her. I don't know if he's sincere about that, but I do think something is going to happen. Um, something's going to come to blows, and he's going to have to make a decision if it's going to be his father or Stella. And I think he's going to choose Stella. I could be wrong, but I think he's going to choose Stella because I really think that being with her, he really does care about her. In Walker and Mickey and how I don't really do that. I did see an article that talked about how they're not planning on getting Mickey and Walker together. And I think that's great because personally I'm not here for it, at least not right now. But again, that could change because, you know, if the show goes on, different showrunners take over, stuff like that could change. Maybe it won't. Maybe that will be one of the fundamentals, no matter how many seasons this show has. That might be one of the fundamental elements that Walker and Mickey just stay partners. I really like her with Trey, and I really hope that she stays with Trey. You know, so I got a little upset when he was flirting with that teacher because... I don't want him to move on yet, especially with Emily. I want him to have a couple of years single. And maybe that's wrong because it has been a year. But I just want him to have a couple of years by by himself. You know, still mourning Emily, giving her two years, three years, however long he needs. I mean, he did say he wasn't ready. So I want him to have that time to that so that he can grow and heal and then be able, of course, to take that chance. Obviously he doesn't want to do it before he's ready. And I just think as the audience, we need that time too. Especially because we were here when Emily died. If you liked this, re this video and this reaction, cl please click the like button and hit subscribe for more great content. I am on Instagram at Lazy Cat Reactions. If you go over and follow me there, you will be able to see um, information about upcoming shows that I'm going to be doing, uh, clips from videos that have been filmed, and just basically anything kind of dealing with the shows that I'm doing or that I want to do. Um, and you can kind of learn some more information regarding my Patreon there as well. So I thank you all for joining me for the react to episode eight of Walker. We've got episode nine next Thursday and I will see you then. Bye.